Welcome to this Excel tutorial where we explore two efficient methods. One using a formula with if and sum if functions, and the other employing VBA code. These techniques will help you seamlessly sum data by group in your spreadsheets. Let's see the first method in action. This involves a formula using if and sum if functions. First, identify and mark the groups using an IF statement, then employ sum if to calculate the sum for each group. In C2, enter the formula. We can use if function to return the subtotal value. In this formula, we use A2 equals A1 to classify data. If the two values are the same, nothing will be returned due to they belong to the same group. If they are different, that means a new group is detected. The SUMIF function will be used here. We need to subtotal data by group, dollar, A, dollar, 2, dollar, A, dollar, 13 is an absolute range for criteria. Each data in column A is a criteria, dollar, B, dollar, 2, dollar, B, dollar, 13 is an absolute range for matching values. Excel will search a two value, apple, in, dollar, A, dollar, 2, dollar, A, dollar, 13, and find all, apple, in this range. Then subtotal all matching values in, dollar, B, dollar, 2, dollar, B, dollar, 13, then return SUMIF value in C2 finally. Click enter to get returned value. We can see that 400 is correct. Drag the fill handle of the cell with the formula down to cover the entire column. You can see that subtotal is recorded in the first row of each group. That's because in this row, the data in column A is different with its cell above, a new group is found. Now, let's explore the second method, a more advanced approach involving VBA code. Press Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic for Applications Editor. Right-click on any item in the Project Explorer. Choose, Insert, and then, Module. Copy and paste the provided VBA code into the module. Close the VBA editor and run the macro using Alt plus F8. Select the macro named, Sum by Group. Click, Run. This code efficiently sums data by group using a macro. And there you have it. Two effective methods for summing data by group in Excel. Choose the one that best fits your needs. You can see that both methods offer effective ways to sum data by groups. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel insights. Thanks for watching.